Good morning. Welcome to day four of our Encounters with Jesus. This morning we're going to look at Luke chapter 7, beginning at verse 36, where Jesus was anointed by a sinful woman. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to have dinner with him. So Jesus went to his home and reclined. When a certain immoral woman from that city heard he was eating there, she brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. And then she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them off with her hair. Then she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Then Jesus answered his thoughts. Simon, he said, I have something to say to you. Go ahead, teacher, Simon replied. Then Jesus told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one and 50 to another. But neither of them could repay him, so he kindly forgave them both, canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the larger debt. That's right, Jesus said. Then he turned to the woman and he said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash the dust from my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with a rare perfume. I tell you, her sins, and they are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said amongst themselves, Who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus turned to the woman and said, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So the point Jesus was trying to make was that the Pharisee pride was a far greater sin than the woman's, whatever hers was. If only Simon could have acknowledged his need for forgiveness, he would have been the one experiencing gratitude. I have come across people, Christians, who are so self-righteous that they feel that God is privileged to have them among his chosen people. When we know we are sinners saved by his grace, we become communicators of hope to others. I remember in our very first appointment, there was a woman. She was a new Christian. She wore her uniform and she was so proud of herself. And one Sunday after I finished preaching and I was at the door greeting the folks, she said, well, Lieutenant, that was a good sermon. I certainly hope that those who needed to hear it were listening. I felt like saying to her, my dear, if anyone needed to listen to that sermon, it was you. She had an unsaved husband, and I knew that unless she changed her attitude, she would never win him over to the Lord. We serve a great God, a loving God, and this woman in our story from that day on, I am sure, knew she was always deeply loved and forgiven. Let's pray. This is a prayer I read this morning, and I want to share it with you. Dear Lord, how I rejoice that I need not be forever shackled by my past, but with confidence and joy, I can look forward to actually becoming all that you have in mind for me to be. May it be so for all of us. Amen.
Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.